Hi everyone, welcome to the Take Your Time Art Project. I'm Kirsty from Creative Foundations and thanks to Jill and Gail from the New Vit Theatre and Bentley Volunteers, today I'm going to be sharing another art activity with you for you to try at home. My advice for all the videos I'll be sharing with you is to watch them first and then have a go yourself afterwards. If you want to, you might want to play the video again whilst you're having a go and keep pausing it to complete each stage. There's no rush to complete these activities at all in one go. You might want to take several days to complete them and that's absolutely fine because as the project name suggests, we want you to take your time and just enjoy making your art as and when you choose. So before you start this activity, I'd love for you to go on a walk. Whilst you're taking this walk, look and listen to all the things around you. Do you hear birds? What colours did you see? Were there trees and did they have leaves? Did you see or hear anything you didn't expect? You might want to take photos on your walk, take notes or just remember the experiences. Afterwards, I then want you to pick two of your favourite experiences from this walk. To then start making something similar to this. A colourful drawing which really focuses in on your favourite experiences because of the way that it's framed by the circles. I'm now going to share some filming I took whilst on one of my walks up Parker Hills. So I do recognise that some of you might be finding it difficult at the moment to get out and about. So feel free to use my walk to create your artwork. Again, just watch and listen and pick out your favourite things. After you see my walk, I'm then going to show you exactly how I made my artwork. And then it's over to you to make yours. Please also remember to send us some photos of what you've created because we can't wait to see them. I hope you enjoyed your walk and the things that you got to see 
and hear, and maybe even the things that you smelt. So during this activity, we're going to really focus in on two of the things that you've got to experience with a really nice drawing activity. To do this activity, you're going to need your sketchbook, a pencil, a circle shape to draw around. So here, I'm using a pot, but you could use a cup, a tin, or whatever you can find that will help you to draw a circle. You'll also need a ruler or something that will help you to draw a straight line, your fine line of pen if you want to use it, and some coloured pencils. As you can see, I'm using the other half of the page we used last time. You can do the same if you want to, or you could start a new page too if you'd prefer. To start, I'm going to make my circles using my pot to draw around. Then I'm going to separate the two circles with a straight line between them both. Now let's move on to the colouring. Here I've chosen dark colours and I'm colouring the space around my circles. Again, I have sped this video up so I've made it faster. So I'm most certainly not colouring in this quickly. Again, take your time colouring in the area. And just keep doing this until all the area around your circle is completely filled in. Now that I've completed the colouring around the first circle, I'm going to move on to the second circle. Again, I've chosen a dark colour, but a different colour. And I'm just going to keep colouring in until the area around the second circle is completely filled in. Now, I'm going to make those circles really stand out. And to do this, I'm going to make the colours around the circles even darker. So here, I'm using the same dark blue pencil as I was before, but this time I'm pressing a little hard on the pencil itself. I'll do this all the way around the circle to frame it, as you can see here. Now I'm going to repeat this process again, but each time I colour a little further away from the circle and each time I won't press as hard on the pencil and this will make the colour a little lighter each and every time. Once I've completed my first circle, I'll then move over to the second and do exactly the same. So framing it with dark colours. Now let's create the two experiences you really enjoyed on your walk. Here's a picture of one of mine. And this is the image I'm going to draw within my first circle. You might not have a picture to copy from and that's absolutely fine. The drawing that you create can be from your memory, an item that you liked, for example, a leaf, or you could draw things that you could hear, like a bird, but didn't necessarily see it. It's entirely up to you what you want to draw. I'm now going to speed up my drawing because it took me a really long time to draw this image. But as you can see, I started to draw my experience with a pencil inside of the circle. Once I'd completed my pencil drawing, I then went over the image with my fine line pen. But it's entirely up to you whether you want to do this or not.
Now that I've completed my outline with a fine liner pen, I then colour in my image with the coloured pencils. Now I'm going to move on to my second image. So as you can see, I've drawn my image with a pencil first, then I've drawn over the pencil lines with my fine liner pen, and to finish, I've coloured in the image with my coloured pencils. And there you have it, your completed image, focusing in on the two experiences that you enjoyed most on your walk. Now it's your turn to create your images that focus on your favourite experiences from your walk. If you want to, why not try arranging your circles in a different format as shown here. So here I'm doing them all in one row. and then dividing them in a different way again. Whatever you create, make sure to take your time. You don't need to complete them all in one go, just have fun doing it. I can't wait to see what you've created. See you soon everyone.